Hey guys, so I am back with the color tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I do my split methods. So right here what you see that I'm doing is perfecting my part. Whenever it comes to split methods, you want to go ahead and pre-part how you're going to color. Reason being is you want the split to be like perfect. You don't want the colors to look sloppy. You want at the end it to be basically a almost perfect split. So you want to part it down the middle and then part it in the back and then you just section it off so that each side will already be split for the specific color you're going to use. And right here, I'm just sectioning it in down the middle, but in parts of four. So for some reason, it didn't show the colors that I use. I don't know if I mistakenly didn't press record, um, but the colors that I use for the lime green is Kiss Titanium and Lime Light, and then Adore and Green Apple. And I will have both of them in the description box. And honestly and truly, you guys, there is no like special way that I color this. There is no really 
technique or anything i just apply the color the only thing that i always say in my color videos is take your time it may look that i'm look like i'm moving fast and rushing but i'm not i just sped up the speed in the video but take your time especially when you are by the roots um, you want to be sure to not stain your lace or the knot so definitely take your time when applying the color make sure the color is even throughout from the root to the bottom and i like to use a comb for the most part when blending. Um, so definitely just take your time, make sure you are fully saturating the hair. But other than that, there is no special way. This is just one color, so there's no like really technique for me to explain or anything. I'm literally just applying it. And the biggest thing again is just taking your time. There should be no rush, making sure that your work is coming out flawless. And the biggest thing is making sure it is colored throughout. There's no patches, there's no missing spots. It's not blotchy in one spot. So really, really blend and saturate the hair. So I'll just let you guys keep watching because it is self-explanatory. So yeah, that's all. And I'll make sure to link the colors that I use in the description box, I promise.
Okay, and so this is how it looks after we have washed it out and dried it and also let it sit. And now we're just gonna go into covering it up because we do not want the black to get on the green. We want to refrain from that as much as possible. Black can be very messy and harsh. And we want to go again for a flawless, even split. So you gotta protect it. So what I do is take a hair bag and I put the hair in there and then I pin it down the middle of the split just like you see me doing here so again it's just separating the two colors from clashing into each other specifically we don't want that black on the green it is okay if the green gets on the other side and depending on the level and the base you're using it will cover the green but if the black get on the green it's just a mess and you got to fix it and correct it we want to refrain from that so that is why you want to cover that side and fully protect it from the black. And the color we are using for the black is Revlon Color Silk in box level 10 called black. And I'm literally going to apply it the same way as the other side. However, with black being so harsh, we want to be very, 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 very careful. Black can be so messy. So really take your time. Be gentle, especially on the knots. Now when you get to the back and you get to the ends, just slap the color on as long as it's even it's okay but those roots and those knots be very 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 careful okay i cannot stress this enough be careful so that you are refraining from again the knots and staining of the lace but other than that that's all it is just really take your time be gentle with yourself and be gentle with the wig
And this is how it looks after I wash it out and everything. Evenly split, super, super, super cute. I'm glad my customer requested this because I really enjoy creating this. Very easy, guys. It did not take long at all, I promise you. It's nothing really spectacular to it other than just take your time and cover the side, you know, the color the more cool tone so that it doesn't get messed up with the deeper tones. So other than that, that's it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment or DM or email me. I'm going to link all my social media and my website in the description box. And also, if you want to place an order, I am always accepting custom orders. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.